Yo, what up y'all? I got a crazy story for y'all today about the first time I did 100X Salvia. So let's get right into it. At the time I was living in my own apartment. I was hanging out with my girlfriend and a friend. I acquired this Salvia, the brand was called Purple Sticky, I think. And like I said before, it was 100X concentrated. I had done lower concentrations in the past and really it just gave me couch lock and made me laugh uncontrollably. This time was way different. So I consumed it out of a tube, I inhaled it, I held it in for a long time, and in a snap, in an instant, I was turned into an inanimate object. This is what I was turned into. That right there. So I was turned into the circular part of a Buddhist mandala. Prior to that, I'd never seen one of these. And so it was really weird that I just turned into this. Basically, I was completely disembodied. I was an out of body experience. The one thing that remained the same is that my hands were there, but they were detached from my body and they were holding on to the mandala and they were spinning around clockwise. Okay, this was really concerning. And I want to talk about mentally what I was thinking. So the first thought was, wow, I'm in hell. The second thought was, okay, so basically I did enough substances to ruin my brain and this is going to be my reality for the rest of my life. I was feeling extreme regret and I remembered that I used the substance. And so I was regretting using the substance. I was regretting my life. I knew that I was an addict. I knew that I wasn't making good decisions. And so I was having all these thoughts while I was simultaneously turned into a Buddhist mandala that was spinning around. I couldn't feel my body, but like I said, I could see my hands and they were disembodied and spinning around. So this persisted for what felt like an eternity. While this, this was happening, I could hear my friend laughing at me and joking around, and this was making it so much worse. And so if you're going to use a substance, uh, just keep in mind that the people around you are going to affect that experience. Basically, I came to and my leg was going over a balcony and I was trying to climb over a balcony. Luckily, I had people around that were watching over me and stopped me from doing this. And soon after that, I regained my consciousness. They filmed the whole thing, which I asked them to do. And I wish I still had that footage. If I did, I would post it. But basically, as soon as I exhaled, I took my hat off and I was bending it like this. And then I stood up and I grabbed the door to my closet and was hanging on to it and was shaking it. So it was really over a span of about seven minutes, but it felt like an eternity. Like I said, I was an inanimate object and it was not a good experience. So a lot of psychonauts, a lot of people in the psychedelic community like to say that there are no bad experiences, just learning experiences. I don't think that's necessarily true. While I did learn to never do that again, it didn't give me a new appreciation for being human. It actually took me to a darker place. And like I said, I was an active addiction, so my intentions were not there. The setting wasn't good. So all that stuff comes into play, but I would never suggest using salvia in strong concentrations or just at all. That's just my opinion. I'm not trying to demonize it. Supposedly shamans say that you're not supposed to burn it and that you're supposed to chew it up, take that or leave it. I'm not suggesting anyone do that. I'm not advocating for it, but I just think it's interesting because it seemed like it was retaliating. It was mad that it got burnt. Anyways, that was my experience for a couple days. I felt weird after that and I just don't suggest doing it. So, and I also want to say that I've had inherently positive experiences with pretty much all psychs except for that. Also, you know, there's a lot of debate about if it's a psychedelic, technically it's an atypical hallucinogen. It acts on your opioid receptors. It can create a uh, delirium and disassociation. So yeah, it's very interesting. I don't suggest using it. That's just my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, and subscribe and let me know if you want more war stories or just crazy stories in general. I will share them. Much love to y'all. Be easy.